Hi everyone, welcome to Ama Pilates and Yoga and in today's short Pilates class we are going to be focusing on the obliques or the muscles of the waistline. So I hope you guys enjoy but don't forget to subscribe to the channel and of course leave in the comment section down below how you felt after having taken the class. Let's get started. Okay, let's go ahead and start laying on our back. And once you find a nice comfortable position, you feel like your back is really long, you can straighten your legs out long, reach the arms up and overhead. And when you're ready, press the arms down, add a chest lift and lift the legs. And we're gonna pump those arms a few inches up, a few inches down. Remember, we inhale for five pumps and we exhale for five pumps. Lots of energy through the hands. Make sure it's not about the wrists. Let's inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, four, five, two, two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five, three, two. Four, five, exhale two, three, four, five, four, two, three, four, five, exhale two, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five, seven, two, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five, eight, two, four, five, exhale two, last one, nine, two, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five, and hug the knees into the chest, lift your chest, try to get the forehead to touch the knees. At least that's a reference. It probably won't touch, actually. <laughs> and hug the right knee into the chest. Straighten the left leg out long, and then inhale, exhale, switch, grab the other leg. So as we're lengthening, we're also trying to feel how the knee comes in towards the chest. Now, if it bothers you to bend the knee this way, you can always put your hands behind the leg and not bend the knee in as much towards the chest. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one, grab the right knee, hold it here. We're gonna grab the ankle and stretch the leg up. Now it's equal parts pulling the leg to you, but it's also lifting the chest to the leg. Inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale, switch. And switch and switch we got it now you can pulse the leg two times towards you and then switch other side two times towards you let's go for five four three two and one and hug the knees into the chest Keeping the chest lifted if you can. Of course, you can always take a break. Let's extend the arms and the legs away from one another. Round the arms, hug the knees in, and repeat. Extend, round the arms, hug the knees in, and again, extend and round the arms. So let's go for five. Really reaching those legs, reaching the arms in opposite direction. Four, three, Really trying to maintain the chest in a lifted position, shoulder blades off the mat. Three, two, and one. Hug the knees, bring it in. Good, now this time we are gonna support the back of the head with the hands. Now a lot of uh, people, what they do here, which I, I think can sometimes, you know, be a disservice to this position, is they barely touch the back of their head. Whereas if you press the head into the hands and press the hands into the head, you'll feel a lot more support and engagement. Now keep your legs lifted, lengthen your legs as much as you can, lower the legs down, inhale, exhale, flex the feet, lift it up, and repeat. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Again, inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. Bend the right knee into the chest. Rotate your upper body to the right. Inhale, exhale, switch, and switch, and switch and switch very similar to the knee pull exercise we did at the beginning of the series but obviously now we're adding a crisscross and we're not grabbing onto the leg unless you need to modify let's go for five four 
three, two, one. Hug the knees into the chest and rest the feet down. Good. So just in an effort to open up the front side of the body, let's keep our hands down by our sides. Bring your toes a little closer to your heels, knees together, and exhale, tuck and lift the hips up. Big inhale and exhale, slowly lower the arms or the spine down. The higher you lift, the more you'll feel kind of the abdominal area opening. Exhale, tuck and lift. Inhale, exhale, lower the spine back down. Whew, awesome. Stretch your legs out long, reach the arms up, and exhale, roll on up to a seated position. Let's work the side of the abdominals, which would be the obliques. So, forearm down, one foot in front of the other, or you can have your feet stacked. However, for today, I'm gonna do one foot in front of the other. So when you're ready, hand, top hand down by your hips, just resting down, plant the feet firm into the floor. Inhale, lift the top arm up and over, lift the hips, and then lower down. Now, forearms down is a really great way to modify. It's a great way to strengthen the shoulders. However, you can also do this with your hand flat on the floor and your arms straight. So if you wanna try it, well, let's all do it all together for five. Four. Three. Two. And one. And bring it all the way down. Good, let's try the other side. We have one more after this. Forearm or straight arm. I'm gonna do forearm on this side, one foot in front of the other, it's up to you. When you're ready, let's go for a total of seven. Six. Five, try to get the waistline, the rib cage away from the floor. Four. Three, two, and one, and bring it down. Good. Now let's come on to our hands and knees. We have one more exercise. I think when we think of core, we always think of the abdominal area only, kind of like this front part right here. But we have to remember that your core kind of wraps around the spine. So. Let's work a little bit of the back side of the body, specifically a little bit more into the lower, lower back and glute area. Hands on the floor. You can also do this on your forearms if you'd like. And when you're ready, make sure that you're in a long line plank position, heels to head. And not by lifting the hips up, but keep your hips still. You want to lift the leg by using your glute to point, lift the right leg up and back and feet together. And again up and back, feet together, up and back, feet together, feeling how the glute engages to lift the leg. Let's go for five, pull the belly in, press the floor away, four, three, two, one, and rest the knees down, press the hips back, straighten the arms, big deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, slowly roll on up. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. And we've just finished a short class focusing on core work. Thank you guys for being here. Remember, if you wanna take full length classes with me, live link, or live link, live classes with me, I do have a website, amapilatesyoga.com, where you can sign up for a membership. And if you check that link out and you sign up for the newsletter, you also get a free full length class. So don't forget to do that. And of course, let me know how you felt after taking the short abdominal class or core class. <laughs> Bye.